Okay, education is not the filling of a pail but the lighting of a fire and this is why in 2009 I became a primary school teacher to inspire children to learn, to find out what makes every child tick and to find ways to get the best out of them but most importantly for them to feel fantastic and excel whatever their ability. Personally I believe the modern education system is making it increasingly difficult for teachers to meet these goals. Constant testing, data inputting, lack of trust is having a real negative impact on teachers and therefore children. 3.30 finish. Not quite. So in 2014, I quit. Not because I'm lazy, but because year after year, my pupils weren't skipping out the door anymore. They simply slid out the door after a day of constant pressure so I could take more boxes, achieve my performance-related pay, and children were now levels and no longer children, criminal. So I moved to the most westerly part of Wales and now manage Treginis Farm, where inner city children come and stay for a week of muck and magic. The Pembrokeshire coastline is now my classroom, and sheep, pigs, goats, ducks, poultry, and fields of veg are my resources. Uh, during a seven-day stay, the children are completely immersed in farming. It's not pretend. Children muck out, take care of the livestock, harvest veg, and do all that is required to keep the farm running. There's no formal teaching, no assessing, no testing, simply learning through doing. The farming day starts at 7.30am, where children have to milk and feed the goats, feed the pigs and poultry, let the sheep out into the field, and after a homegrown breakfast, children are back out to uh, chop wood for the fire, dig their lunch, muck out the horses, or clear thistles in the fields. Uh, one of the most often yet forgotten parts of the week takes place in the dining room. Three times a day, children sit at the table and eat together. For a lot of children, this is uh, very unusual, and quite often this is where children use cutlery for the first time, taking turns to speak, share food, and cleaning up. It's all part of the course. And then there's the coastline. A lot of visiting children have never been to the beach and have never seen the sea. For the majority of children, they can go months without even seeing a view. Uh, what gets me is how young children can be to fully appreciate the beauty of this and just to see them sit in awe of the beauty is fantastic. So children come to the farm to learn about food, farming in the countryside, but the experience is much deeper than that. Every time they step out onto the farm, they are not wasting a moment of time. Every job is pur purposeful and if not done, there will be a consequence, a hungry goat or no food. Children knowing and understanding their importance and seeing visible results from their hard work simply fills them to the brim with confidence and self-esteem. My team and I's job is to boost this confidence as much as we can. A simple wink, uh, a pack on the back, a, hand, a handshake is all that's needed. Treginis gives children who do not do well in an academic setting the chance to shine. With purposeful and physical work, good food and environment with clear boundaries, you will quite often see the challenging kids winning the Farmer of the Week award. These children may never have felt such a deep feeling of pride and may not again. The feelings the children take home with them cannot be put into a spreadsheet, analysed or moderated, but just imagine if you could. Isn't that what you would want as a parent of a young child? Confidence, self-worth and purpose is what we want our children to feel and is what they deserve. Hadid, a ten-year-old from central London, wrote to thank us for helping him face his fears, how happy he was because he inspired him, how he gained confidence and how the experience changed him. Most importantly, he calls Draginis his home. Confidence, inspiration, security from shoveling poo and washing swede in the rain. Mariana, 11 years old, never left the city. First day on the farm, she burst into tears when the sheepdog came around the corner and couldn't go anywhere near the animals. Three days later, with Shani on the stock check, wind in her face, views all around and a new best mate. Never experienced this again. Luca, horrendous home life, lots of anger problems, and in the end, he won Hat Farmer of the Week. I shook his hand, gave him a little man hug and told him how proud I was of him. With that, he burst into floods of tears. Tears of joy, but one of the saddest things I'd seen and uh, more, he, pretty sad what he was going back to. Thousands of children come to the farm every year and these three stories are just a snapshot. It's such an honour and privilege to give children this experience, but such a shame that less than 1% of school aged children will ever spend time on a farm. At the end of the week, I make the children promise that they will take back what they have learnt about themselves and use it in school or at home. Uh, no more sitting on your phones, put your wellies on, sweep up the leaves with your granddad, wash the car with your mum. Just remember that, that feeling you have now and what you are capable of. Is this experience lasting? Absolutely. I used to take my class to Draginis Farm. It had such an impact on the children, especially the kids with the low confidence and those who struggled academically. The change I saw in them was wonderful and it was a week the children will never forget. Please do not think I am against schools. Schools are the most important place in the world and literally numeracy are skills, especially the farmers need. But the education system must remember that children are children. Not statistics. Do I have the answer? No. But what I do know is the importance of outdoors, uh, where the farm in, forest school or a trip to the park. 
When growing our vegetables at Truginis, we sow a seed, nurture, encourage it, give it time to grow and develop at its own pace and protect it from anything that will compromise its development. This is what the children experience at the farm and we hope to continue to do so for many years to come. Thank you.